Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me this morning. He said, I prefer it that people give their life for me than working for me. See, because their lives is so special to me. Because we are not concerned about the property. We are not concerned about the material things. We are concerned about your soul. You work for Christ. We are concerned about you making heaven. We are concerned about you entering the kingdom of God. We are not concerned about anything. Hallelujah. And as a child of God, if you are going to be a choir, if you are going to be a singer, don't be a singer that is that is that is their life is not counting. If you see, when you say you are a child of God, your life should count even in your house, in your working place. Your neighbors should be able to say you are a child of God. Your, your neighbor, your friend, your brother, your sister. Your parent to be able to see you, you are a child of your children. There's a see Jesus in your life. Don't just waste your energy working for God, and yet your life is not good to me. You are bringing people to God. You yourself, you are, you are, you are not going there. Sambod, showing them the way, and you yourself, you are not, caught, you are not leaving your spot. Sir, it's a waste of time, waste of energy. Let me tell you something. Any service you render to God that your act is saying money is useless. And that is why when you want to see a crusade go on now, it will do crusade that will be telling people that offering time in crusade. Please who is giving you the offering, the same as The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. My name remains a hospital, Daniel, by the special grace of God. You are watching me. Today is a Sabbath day. By the grace of God, we are giving this message today. I have a message from the Lord for the people of God. But before that, let's pray. O oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this hour. Thank you for this present hour. Thank you for being faithful to us in all situations. We glorify in Jesus' name. Our Lord and our God, we ask you, Holy Spirit, to fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Break down the powers of Satan's in our life, destroy the altar of sins, and fill us with the heart of God. Give us a listening ear, open our eyes to the truth, and give us heart to accept the truth in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, everyone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As I've said before, my name is Apostle Peter Dad. This morning, the Lord gave me a message. The message when I woke up, I was wondering that what can this be? What can this be? I was seriously wondering. Until God begin to speak to me about the message is given. This morning, in the middle of the night, they were repeating the same thing for me for three times or two, two or three times. This will be revelation repeat itself three times. It will repeat itself three times. I saw a man. I saw a man. This man happened to be a man of God. I mean, a pastor, an evangelist, you know, carrying a title of God. And uh, when I saw him, people knew him as a child of as a Christian, and so on and so forth. In his act, he was working for God, who were seeing it, having members, 
member will come into the church. Come into the church, you know, we're working for God and so and so something like that. And all of a sudden, I came in the present. I was there, I was looking at him. And in his act, the Lord gave me the all, he gave me the hearing spirit to hear what he was saying in his heart. And what he was saying in his heart is that he said, in his heart, he said, I will work for God. I will work for God. But what I really need is money and faith. I need to hear what you get what I'm saying. He said, I will work for God. But what I really need is money and faith. So he was working for God, but his intentions is to become popular. His intentions is to become famous. His intentions is to, is become, is to become known all over the world. So when I had it, I said, what is this? I overlooked it. I came back from that revelation. And they show me the same revelation again. The second time. This time I ran. I they repeated the same thing to me. I saw the man again. The voice, the voice coming to my ear. This one is physical. As I was listening, waking up, I had a very audible in my head that I thought the man was beside me in the bed. I want money and faith. All this one I'm doing is God who back benefits. My own benefit is free my money. Ha! The thing come to my head. The third time I have the same revelation. The same revelation. Say, Lord, what is the meaning of all this? And the Lord spoke to me. He said, the Christians, he said, I tell the people of God that it is not your service that it needs. It needs you. You are coming to the service punctually. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You are always in the church. You are working for God. You are the choir. You are singing for God. God said, I need you more than yourselves. Don't destroy yourself. Don't just sat there and destroy yourself. I need you. You. I said, how, how do you mean that we shouldn't work for you again? He said, I prefer it that people gave their life to me than working for me. I don't know whether you're here or not. The Lord spoke to me this morning. He said, I prefer it that people give their life for me than working for me. See, because their lives is so special. Are you are you listening to what I'm saying? When I wake up from these things, I was wondering, Lord. So there can be people who can be working for the Lord and they are still committing sin. So there can be people who can be preaching the gospel and their intention is not about heaven, it's about money and faith. There can be people who can be doing ministry. Just become they wanted to be popular. Popular prophet. And because of that, one way or the other, they will begin to branch to Satan and collect powers. So as to fulfill their desires. The Lord said that you want every Christian to be. That the way you behave at home matters to God. When we come to, to gym like this, or we come to meeting like this, we will talk to us about something like that. And hey, sister, hey, sister, ah, sister, hey, sister, tell me, hey, sister, ah, sister, you need to greet yourself. The sister will be laughing as she is the gentle means that God ever created. But when we get back, it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. 
A brother will come to church. A hey, brother do, brother do, brother do, brother do. It will be as if he's the most deadly person. But when they come at home, he's a liar. What is the meaning of the hypocrisy? The person you are serving and you are working for says that all your service is not in there. That he prefers you to be accepted. Due to here, Romans chapter 12. Let's read it. Romans chapter 12. See what Paul said to the church. He didn't want you to just suffer in pain and claim that, oh Lord, and I waste my property for you. And no, your life matters. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present, listen now, I beseech you. I beseech is begging. When he say I beseech thee, I begging you. Begging. Begging number one. Begging by the mercies of God. Because of God will mercy. Another begging. That you present your body as a living sacrifice. Only one. A living sacrifice. Make your body a living one. Do you know that your body can be a dead man? He said, make it a living sacrifice. Only one acceptable unto God. What is the benefit of what you do that you will suffer is not acceptable? Which is your reasonable service? You see that man? When your body is acceptable to God, sir, God will use it for himself. Don't, don't, don't be used for God first when your body is perceptible. If you are used for God and your body is perceptible, sir, it's a waste of time. Waste of energy. It's a waste of energy. Be acceptable to God first. Let God accept you first. I want you to know that the journey to heaven is not in sharp way. It's more than you pray for somebody. It's more than you be a prayer boy. No. All those things are waste of time. You see, I'm going to each other they usually kabash. Rabo, go to kabash, rabo, shah. That's nonsense. It's nonsense. Your body needed to be sacrificed first. You have to lay your body dead for yourself. You are alive in Christ. You have to live a holy life. You are a Christian. Your, your husband cannot even say that you are a Christian. Because he didn't see a reason why you should be called a Christian. You are a Christian. Your, your wife cannot say you are a Christian. Because he didn't see reasons why you should be called a Christian. Then why are you not, why are you not doing that you are a child of God? Uh -uh. Don't waste your time. I usually say something here, man. I will say, if to buffet the ocean, who knows? To buffet the Osaka, the Osaka, the one who knows Osaka. If you if you want to put your leg now from this right side, put that there. Put your two leg there. Do put your leg in this side. Put your other leg in this side. You are you are this part, you are this part. Or you see on the fence, you see I'm in the, in the video. I don't belong to anyone. I'm not a woman that's case, but I'm serving God. So, and there are some sins I'm still committing to. God understands. But God knows I'm working for me. All those things are nonsense. A bastard is the one that goes to his father and goes and slap him. And still come back and go and pass his name. Sir, a bastard child is the one that goes to his father's house. He goes and slap him. Why? After slapping him, he now went out. He went to go and buy something again. I said, Come and take it. Come and eat. Let me tell you something. Any service you render to God that your act is saying money is useless. I 
And that is why when you want to see a crusade, you are now. They will do crusade and they will be telling people that offering time in crusade. Please, who is giving you the offering? He said this. Why should you be in crusade and still be asking for offering? Why should you be in the church and still be asking the back to come and bear the, the sowing seed? I was telling a pastor, I said, sit down. He said that I went to somewhere, I please showed my TV and thank God to all of them who believe it. Even the pastor, even the father of the church, everybody they gave, they came out to give their life to Christ. I said, wow! I said, that's wonderful. The blessing was very hot. See, when I was, I was praying for them, so what I need is this. I now tell I said, I want to pray for the people uh, to get their hand. So I said, for anybody who has a chronic sickness, chronic problem in their body, let them come out and then ah, and then so she will see the opinion. I said, ah, if all the good. Ah! I said, see that. I said, what is see He said, it's in the Bible. It should be in Sam. I said, listen to me. I said, what they are saying, they are different from what you are. The Bible says, freely I go to you. Freely you give. In the old days, when you go to preach to go and shake yourself, you come with a gift. In the old days, when you are going to tell, you come with a gift. In the old days, when you are going to go and see a prophet, you come with a gift. That doesn't say that you, as a prophet of God now, should ask member to come with a gift for them to receive them. Please, who wanted to collect the, uh, collect the gift? Is it God? So you that they are giving the money and contributing the money for me now. So you are the God I wanted to give it to you. I said that is a sky, a level of woman. You do well by placing the person. But the money you collect, you spend the money. You water the business. Should there be any reason why all believers should give it something and comment? No. He said, Ah, what is a perfect person? I'm telling you the truth. When you are preaching to your own believer and it's not ready to connect you, it's not going to connect you with Jesus. Why should you connect it with him? Why? It's not, I went to a city one day with my group. We went, to, it's not a city, a village, a real village, a real city. Village. Inside the village, they call the village uh, uh, Ogun something. The, the name is called Ogun. It's named after the Kokotik name. And that time we are in need of money. <laughs> we are in need of gas. We are in need of food. You no, know, we didn't have. Food. We are. We have been walking inside that bush for two weeks with our leg, leg. Pushing from one village to another, and they bring the money. I thank you for those who are there. I thank you for the grace of God. I said, let your money be with you. I didn't say perish with you, so I said that they will be. <laughs> you know, that's a word of the Bible you do say. <laughs> I said, let your money be with you. I said, let your money. I said, in as much you cannot accept Jesus, I am pushing. You cannot also, you cannot also accept your properties. Even though you are helping the work of God, you are not helping it. Your life matters. If all ministers can be like this, it will be more better. I met a man of God and he was saying that a person will be, he said, he won the world close to a billion. A billion in our, in our Nigeria world. To shop together, a billion square. A billion, billion, not million, billion. He said, and he called him and said, you, you are giving me all this money. When you know that you are giving me all this money. I said, why would I connect it? He, said, he was telling me, he said, don't do that. He said, man, he said, the man was breaking and said that he wished to show him this way. He said, and the man was in there. In as much you cannot accept the worst thing you are facing, you cannot accept the government. If you can, we are all doing all this kind of things. Our is will be able to, to do, you know, ah, people will be able to come to Jesus Christ. I have seen many people. You think say that they are the collectors? No. I have seen many people call me on phone. Say, man of God, I said, my answer should show you that. The first thing that we ask them, 
Are you bothered? Yes, you are really yes. bothered. Are you bothered? Yes. yes. Okay, fine. Where is your pastor? Second one. Am I, who am I to you? How when do you know me? Say, ah, I was just coming across your message. I just seen you and said, this is a man of God. I said, but you actually be the pastor that has been pastoring my life for two years in this place. Like, that's the church I go. And that's where I attend every time. When I ask you a question, I know he's the one big one in You just bypass me and see my video and say, you want to show it in my life. I will tell you, go and show it to the pastor's I am not the one feeding you the word. That should be given to the person who is even preaching the word of God to you. Whenever you hear the message, it's making you part in your life. It's not of going to service and going to church. No, it's making you part in your life. I will tell them, many people from never get that. Go and give it to your pastor. Hallelujah. But when I ask you and you are able to say, okay, sir. By the Spirit of God told me, or oh, I felt led to give it to you. That I know it is God telling me, I can give it. So, because we are not concerned about the property, we are not concerned about the material things. We are concerned about your soul being one for Christ. We are concerned about you making heaven. We are concerned about you entering the kingdom of God. We are not concerned about anything. Hallelujah. And as a child of God, if you are going to be a choir, if you are going to be a singer, do be a singer that is, that is, that is, their life is not counting. You are bringing people to God. You yourself, you are, you are, you are not bringing them. Sambo, showing them the way. And you yourself, you are not caught. You are not living your support. If, you see, when you say you are a child of God, your life should count, even in your house, in your working place. Your neighbor should be able to say you are a child of God. Your neighbor. Your, neighbor, your friend, your brother, your sister, your parent should be able to say you are a child of God. Too. They should see Jesus in your life. Don't just raise your head at you, working for God, and yet your life is not working. But the Lord bless us. Bless you, Jesus. Subscribe to the channel and send this message to everyone. In the Lord bless you. In Jesus. Shalom.